Have you ever pondered over what compelled the Russian Empire to venture into the frigid, vast expanse of Siberia? The tale is as fascinating as it is complex. In the 16th century, the Russian Empire embarked on an ambitious expansion into Siberia. A lure of precious furs, particularly sable, ignited the initial spark for exploration. But it wasn't just the promise of riches. Many Russians, from peasants yearning to escape the chains of serfdom to religious dissidents, saw a beacon of freedom in Siberia's untamed wilderness. The Russian state too, with an eye on the strategic chessboard of geopolitics, perceived this expansion as an opportunity to fortify its borders and assert its influence in Asia. At the helm of this ambitious endeavor was the Cossack Yermak Timofeyevich. His expedition in 1581, which culminated in the defeat of the Khanate of Sibir, marked the beginning of Siberia's conquest. As the Russians moved eastward, they established forts that would eventually blossom into cities, such as Tobolsk and Yakutsk. The Cossacks, renowned for their martial skills, were instrumental in exploring and annexing new territories. However, this wave of expansion was not without its victims. Indigenous societies encountered profound disruption, their traditional lifestyles, often rooted in nomadic herding, fishing and hunting, were dramatically transformed. The Yasak, a tribute system, compelled these indigenous communities to pay their dues to the Russian authorities, often in the form of furs. This led to economic exploitation and hardship. While some groups assimilated into Russian culture, others resisted, leading to numerous uprisings that were brutally quelled by Russian forces. The expansion into Siberia bore significant fruit for the Russian Empire. The fur trade and other Siberian resources became vital cogs in the Russian economic machine. Siberia's inclusion more than doubled the land area of the Russian state, catapulting it into the ranks of the largest empires in history. This expansion also provided Russia with a gateway to the Pacific Ocean, paving the way for trade with East Asian countries and, later on, the sale of Alaska to the United States. Today, the legacy of this expansion lives on. Siberia is home to a diverse population, a melting pot of descendants of Russian settlers and various indigenous groups. However, the echoes of the past still resonate in the form of environmental and social challenges, including issues related to resource exploitation and the rights of indigenous peoples. In conclusion, the Russian expansion into Siberia is a complex scene involving exploration, conquest, cultural clashes and assimilation. It serves as a stark reminder of how the march of empires can shape the destiny of regions and their people. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more.